Hi guys, welcome to CA Inter Material Costing. That's chapter number two of your entire book. We are doing MCQs of this chapter. <coughs> MCQs are designed to make your concept stronger and to ensure that you get full marks in all the MCQs that IC can be asking. In beginning, we are going to be doing all the MCQs which are there in the module and then my own curated MCQs. For any help that you all might require, okay, you can always call us on 8080324444. Okay, let's continue with today's MCQ. Direct material can be classified as, get me the four options, fixed cost, B, variable cost, okay, C, semi-variable cost, and D, none of the above. Think of the correct answer, it's supposed to be an easy one. Okay, now direct material obviously is a direct cost. Direct cost itself means that it is directly incurred for making each and every unit. So answer in this case should be very obvious and that should be that it is variable cost. Obviously, it cannot be fixed cost. Why? Fixed cost is any cost that will not change based upon number of units. If you make one unit, you will incur say rupees 10 as material cost. If you incur two, will you incur rupees 10 again? No. Again, for that second unit, we will incur 10 rupees again. No. So it should be a variable cost. Of course, semi variable cannot be the answer. Okay. Direct material has to be completely a variable cost. So answer should be B. Yeah, that's the correct answer. Thank you. I'll see you all next time. Bye.